Okay, so today we're going to be reusing the system speaker out of this HP XW6000 workstation. HP computers use a two pin connector for their system speakers and as I've just built a new computer based on the HP DX2200 motherboard I noticed that also uses a two pin connector speaker. Now, as far as I'm aware, most computers use a four pin connector, even though they only use two of the pins of the four connector. So let's have a look inside. And as I can see, yes, it's a two pin connector. So let's see if we can remove it. Now, for some reason, they have screwed the speaker to the chassis on this and not to the front panel. That was actually to my advantage because I, I put in there um, an 80mm fan in its place. Okay, so that's unscrewed. I did hear something metallic fall. Which I've now retrieved because that wouldn't be good. It could short circuit something on the board. There we go, two pin connector. So the speaker's removed. Now let's try it in my new system, see if it fits. Okay, so I've disconnected the DX2200. Let's have a look inside. as I thought, a two pin connector. Now, is this going to be the same as the workstation? Okay, so the speaker's the same fitting. Now, where could I fit it on this case? Now, let's have a little look. That's perfect. I found a space in the hard drive caddies it should, all being well, just screw straight in. So let's try. Okay, so screwing it in is not an option. So instead, I shall use zip ties. As you can see where the hard drive bay is, I've zip tied it in. You can probably just about see it in there. Now let's get the case back together, boot up, and see if it works. Okay, so the system case is back together. Let's fire up and see if it works. There we go, so far so good, but no beep. Okay, so let's just test out the speaker on a little bit of music, just to make 100% sure that it's connected properly and working. And there we go, we have sound. Well, I hope that's been of some help. It's been a success, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.